In this video, I'm gonna show you guys the fundamentals of car polishing and let you guys in on my process in one step polishing cars using my Meguiar's 205 and my Griot's Garage six inch dual action random orbital polisher on none other than this black paint. Now let's get right into it. What's up everybody, my name is Luke Wilson and welcome to the Wilson Auto Detailing YouTube channel. So for this video I'm using my Griot's Garage 6 inch dual action random orbital polisher. I've got my Meguiar's 205 here and I've got my Infinity M35. Well not mine, but my customers. So let me just give you guys some background. My customer called me and wanted the paint to kind of just uh, just improve, right? He wanted some paint enhancement, but not quite paint correction. Didn't really want to invest that kind of money for like wet sanding and stuff like that. So we came to the conclusion that just a one step polish would kind of get him to where he wanted uh, this car to be. And so this is not paint correction as much as I would call it like paint enhancement. So this M205, Meguiar's 205 Ultra Finishing Polish is not a really heavy abrasive, not a really heavy cutting polish. It's more of a lighter to medium cutting polish. So it's great for not only finishing polishing uh, uh, jobs, but it's also great for just a one step polish to enhance the paint. And that's what I'm doing with this black paint that is 10 years old, never been polished, and really never been maintained. But this really does bring it back to that newer just paint condition. It's pretty amazing and I love this product. Cannot recommend it enough. And I'm using my Chemical Guys Hexalogic Yellow Heavy Cutting Pad. Now let me show you guys what I'm about to do. Before I polish this door, I had to prepare it. So I not only clay barred it, but I I used an alcohol distilled water solution, an ISP wash, which stands for isopropyl alcohol wash. And the ISP wash is just gonna take and strip anything that was previously on the paint, like wax or anything like that. It's just gonna totally strip it off. So that way when you're polishing, you can just work with kind of just a bare canvas. So let me show you guys what I've got here. I'm gonna use my Griot's Garage DA, and I've got my Hexalogic pad on it, and these pads really let the, the polish flow through, and I'm a huge fan of just like foam pads because it makes your polish just go like such a long way. So I'm gonna take my M205 here and shake it up just a little bit because polish tends to settle, so I wanna make sure that it's not settled. Now, so many manufacturers have you use so much polish, and they would have you use like three times that amount. This is just more than enough to cover even this entire top half of this car. And the foam pad helps because it helps it spread the polish out more, but I mean, that's like, more than enough, it's plenty. So what I'm gonna do before I actually turn the polisher on is I'm gonna spread the polish out like this kind of over the surface of the paint because that way, number one, it helps it not sling so much. So I'm gonna put it all up here. And what's great about this M205 is that I can actually polish these chrome pieces as well, this chrome trim on the door handle and below the window here. But you can see that the polish is totally spread out across the entire top half of the door panel. Now I'm working in the shade, right? I'm working in this awesome <laughs> garage that's like huge. So I can do more set, more of a section at a time. I can do bigger sections at a time. Now. The Griot's Garage DA has six speed settings, and you shift you know, over, depending on which one you want, you can go to the lowest, which is one, highest, which is six. I'm gonna put it on six because I wanna do as much cutting as I can, but this polish is going to bring like, it's not just gonna cut, coupled with this heavy cutting pad, but it's also going to just like give a really awesome glossy look. So like I'm kind of doing two things in one when I'm coupling this polish with this pad. I'm, I'm getting some good cutting power, but I'm also getting this awesome vibrant gloss. So I'm gonna put it on six because I really wanna get some power. Now I'm gonna obviously throw the cord over my shoulder. If the cord is not over your shoulder, you risk like having this get caught in your uh, like uh, buffer and that would be a very bad day. I'm not taping off any of these edges because it's not gonna burn anything and I'm gonna take a makeup brush in the end after this video and just make sure that I get all the polish. If there's any in this crevice, I'll make sure I get that out. But I'm not taping it off because there's no, this isn't gonna burn any edge. This buffer kind of mimics your hand and so Really, you're just gonna have to take my word for it because I'm not gonna explain it in this video. I'm gonna do a review separately on this buffer, but it's not gonna burn anything. So with a DA, I'm gonna go much slower than I would with a rotary. So I'm gonna very slowly move this across the paint, even at a high speed setting like six. So 
I don't really know how to teach this through a camera, but I was putting a good amount of pressure on the buffer, not too much. I just know how much to put from, ex from seven years of doing this, from experience, and I don't really know how to teach that. I wasn't putting a ton, but I was putting some of my weight into this because again, I want it to cut, but this polish is gonna gloss it at the same time. Now, what I do after I've kind of put some good pressure on the paint and worked this polish in, after I've kind of done the cutting part, what I'll do to kind of finish is I'm not gonna add any more polish, but now I'm gonna put very light pressure on and I'm just gonna kind of run it quickly over the paint like this. And what that does is I kind of just the first part where I'm putting the pressure, it's like the cutting part, and then this part is kind of like letting the, the polish kind of do its glossy thing, like really enhance the paint's luster, vibrance, and things like that. I'm actually not gonna wipe this polish off yet. If I was in the sun, I'd probably wipe it off, but if you're in the shade, you can actually polish the whole thing and not wipe anything off until the end. I'm gonna go ahead and do this panel down here, and then I'll show you guys what I do afterwards. All right, so you guys can see that this whole door, like this entire thing, top panel, bottom panel, everything is totally done and I've not wiped off the polish yet. Meguiar's 205 can be kind of like a pain to wipe off, it's kind of difficult. And so what I do to make it easier is I'll take my Meguiar's Synthetic Express Spray Wax and I'll actually spray it all over the paint with the polish still on and I'm pretty generous with it. Um, and then I'll take my microfiber towel and I'll buff off both the polish and the wax. And this synthetic spray wax is, it's just, it feels like water almost, but it really just kind of helps to move that polish around so that it's not so kind of adhered to the paint. So, I mean, that looks like absolute perfection in the camera. Like, look at that mirror just like, so here's a door that is polished and waxed. Here's a door that is not polished and waxed. I don't know if you can tell the difference in the camera necessarily, but oh my gosh, in real life, it looks absolutely amazing. Like, I look like this is a mirror looking at you. I mean, that looks absolutely incredible. So Meguiar's 205, even as like a one step, just like single usage, like I'm only using this to polish this entire car, does an absolutely amazing job. Really removed a ton of the oxidation, a ton of the scratches. This paint has not been maintained in 10 years, so it's pretty incredible what this product can do. Coupled with my Rio's Garage polisher, I cannot say enough good things about it. I'll link both of these things up in the description box. So I wanted to bring you guys in for the finished look. The only thing I did was polishing. I didn't do the wheels or anything like that or like any bug removal. But here's a final look at this car that has been polished and waxed. And I also went ahead and did the windows. But black is just love-hate because, I mean, look at it right now. It looks absolutely incredible in person and in the camera. It just looks awesome. Of course, I polished these lights back here as well. There's the, it's an Infinity M35. And it just looks amazing. And once again, I did all of this with Meguiar's 205 and my Griot's Garage polisher and the Chemical Guys Hexalogic Heavy Cutting Yellow Foam Pad. So guys, that's it for this uh, video. That was pretty much just kind of the fundamental basics of kind of my process and how I do just like a simple one-step polish. There's, it's definitely great money. It's not crazy hard work, but it definitely takes uh, a certain amount of experience and know-how. But here's the thing, I'm gonna hook up this buffer in the description box below. If you wanna buy it and you're a professional detailer, first of all, please don't hesitate. I cannot suggest this product enough, this tool. I just have nothing bad to say about this tool. It's so amazing. And if you are a beginner, this is the way to learn how to polish. It just, I cannot be more clear. This is how you need to learn how to polish on this buffer. It's absolutely incredible. It's $150 for what you're getting and what it is, it's just, it's an absolute no-brainer. So if you use my links, it'll take you straight to Amazon and it gives this channel a very, very small commission. And of course, that just helps the channel stay alive. So I'd be very appreciative if you use my links. I'm also gonna hook up Meguiar's Synthetic Express Spray Wax, Meguiar's 205 Polish. I'll hook up this Hexalogic pad uh, from Chemical Guys. But anyways, guys, in summary, I just applied a very small amount of polish to my foam pad and my Griot's Garage Polisher. I did just medium pressure as I was going back and forth. And you saw I went back this way and I went up and down. So you want to do both patterns. I moved very slowly because it's a DA polisher. You're not going to burn any edges and the DA polisher 
needs to be moved slowly because that's kind of the nature of the beast and I don't want to go into that in this video once again but I will in later videos. It needs to be moved slowly so that it can really work in that polish. Let the polish and the polisher do the work, not you. And everyone, if you like this video make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, video ideas or advice for other detailers, make sure to put all of that in the comments section below. I'd love to hear about how you guys polish, what polishers you use and what kind of polish you use. Definitely let me know in the comments section. And of course, if you are new to the Wilson Auto Detailing channel, then definitely consider subscribing because I come out with daily videos just like this on not only how to's for like products, tools and strategies to use, but also things like communication skills, business skills and so much more all geared toward the professional detailers and some the car enthusiasts. So definitely consider subscribing. And everyone, thank you so much for watching and from Luke Wilson here at Wilson Auto Detailing, I will see you guys in the next video.